The square of z1 plus z2 plus z3 can be written as z1 square plus z2 square plus z3 square plus 2 times z1 z2 plus z1 z3 plus z2 z3. Now we are given that z1 plus z2 plus z3 is equal to 0. Therefore, the left hand side of this equation is equal to 0. It therefore follows that z1 square plus z2 square plus z3 square is equal to minus 2 times in brackets z1 z2 plus z1 z3 plus z2 z3. Which can be written as minus 2 times z1 z2 z3 times in brackets 1 upon z1 plus 1 upon z2 plus 1 upon z3. Now we are given that the absolute value of z1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the square of the absolute value of z1 is also equal to 1. The absolute value of z1 square can be written as z1 times the conjugate of z1. And this is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 upon z1 is equal to the conjugate of z1. Similarly, 1 upon z2 is equal to the conjugate of z2 and 1 upon z3 is equal to the conjugate of z3. Using these results, the value of z1 square plus z2 square plus z3 square is equal to minus 2 times z1, z2, z3 times in brackets the conjugate of z1 plus the conjugate of z2 plus the conjugate of z3. This can be written as minus 2 z1 z2 z3 times the conjugate of z1 plus z2 plus z3. Now we are given that z1 plus z2 plus z3 is equal to 0. which implies that the conjugate of z1 plus z2 plus z3 is also equal to 0. Using this result, the value of z1 square plus z2 square plus z3 square is equal to minus 2 z1 z2 z3 times 0, which is equal to 0. And this is the required answer.